It's time for the Family Feud. Introducing the York family. Bob, Jerry, Bob, Betty, and John. Ready for action. And the Lewis family. Maxine, Ken, Penny, Polly, and Paige. On your marks, let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's fine. How are you, York? The York family have two thousand and twenty-two dollars. Pretty good. Huh? We like it. We like it. Now, introduce your family to America, Bob, please. I'll do it. On my right is Betty, Jerry, my daughter. <laughs> this Betty, isn't my easier that can talk in here. <laughs> I'm a name dropper. That's Welcome right. Start. That's Jerry. This, this Jerry. is Bob. That's Bob. Her husband. And Betty. Right. His sister-in-law. John is Bob's brother. Right, and you're an old... Uh, and I'm an old goat, I guess. No, 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 no. An old sea dog. You sea dog, that's it. Traveled. Have you ever been around the world, completely around the world? Uh, several times, Yeah, Richard, yeah. What's your favorite country apart from America to visit? Well, I think Australia. Yeah, I've been there. Nice people there. Beautiful. Sydney? Beautiful. Been to Sydney, Sydney? Oh, Melbourne, Melbourne. Brisbane. Did you Sir? have a girlfriend when you were in Australia? Oh, don't Do answer. I have to? Take the fit. Take the fit. I got it. I don't want to get you into I got trouble. I Do you think he had a girlfriend mm -hmm. there? Two for luck. Do you think so? Is he a bit of a... Oh, no, no, not at all. No? No, no. He's a very loving husband, very this loving father. This is not father. Liar's Club, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got my fingers crossed. No, not really. No, right. Can I say hello to my son, Christopher? I didn't get a chance well, to yesterday. Of course yesterday. you can. Say hello Hi, to Chris. Christopher. <laughs> Hi, how are you, Bob? Just fine. Just fine. Who's the best-looking woman in television, in your opinion? Come on, who's the lady that you really would turn that dial on to see? Gotta go with Vera Fawcett. Yeah? Yeah. Lee Major's gonna be very angry about that. Well, sorry. But you really like her, Yes, huh? definitely. Imagine if you were kissing her and she had a cold, you get whiplash. Give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> You're so pretty. Oh, How you doing? I'm fine. This is the bubble of the <laughs> Helps them all. John, you ready to play? I'm ready. There's a family going to challenge called the Lewis family. Hello, John. <laughs> We're delighted to have you here. Thank please, you. Please introduce your family. Yes, I brought my husband, Ken, my daughter, Penny, my daughter, Polly, and my daughter, Paige. Good-looking family. Thank you. Yeah. Any other children? Yes, I have six children all. My goodness. Two more peas, a Patty, and a Pam, and yep. a son, Kevin. Gotcha. <laughs> what do you do, sir? I'm a test pilot with Douglas Aircraft, uh, pretty, Richard. You know, when you get in planes that have never been flown and go up? That's, that's what we uh, shoot for. <laughs> well, I guess you've been successful so far. Are you also? That's got to be nerve-wracking, isn't it? It's a profession, Richard, and uh, it's uh, not as uh, as unsafe as most people think. Really? You're not going to convince me of that, I'm afraid. I'm not going to do that. Hi, Penny. Mm, hello, How are Richard. You? What do you do, Lola? Well, I'm a newlywed. Are you? Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Is he here? No, he's, he's in San Francisco. Oh, what's his yeah. name? Chris. Tell hello, him you Chris. Miss him. <laughs> How long have you been married? Since December. Marvelous. Be happy, yes. okay? Oh, I am. Hello. Hi. How you doing? I'm okay. You a newlywed? No, I'm a student at Santa Barbara. <laughs> well, it's good enough for me. <laughs> I should start studying immediately. <laughs> Hi, Dave. You're a pretty girl. Oh, you ready to play you. this I'm game? I'm ready. Let's wish both families the best of luck. Come on. <laughs> you know how this works, right? We survey 100 people. The top six answers are on the board. Your job, try and find the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name someone famous in French history. Bob. Oh. Uh, Richelieu. Cardinal Richelieu. Cardinal Richelieu. Uh. Not there. Maxine, a wide open board for you. Someone famous in French history. Um. Three seconds. No. Uh. Jerry, chance for you here. The little man, Napoleon Bonaparte. Ah. Ah. How quickly we forget. Yeah. Napoleon! Oh. Now you got the number one answer. 
pass, Richard. Go back there, you oh, scurvy yeah. knave. All right, come on, Ken. Someone famous in French history gave us the number one answer. Charles de Gaulle. De Gaulle, yes. Charles de Gaulle. <laughs> well done, sir. $73 there in that bank and four answers left. Penny, someone oh, famous, please, Richard. in French history. Oh, Richard. Oh, uh, King Richard? King Richard. That's right, King Richard. Very good. Very, very famous. <laughs> I'll say it with a French accent to see what's up We are looking for King Richard. Uh. Well, yep. That is what we call strike. You have three strikes, they have a chance to see you. Yes, oh. It is not good. How old? Louis the Fourteenth. Well done. Excellent. Name the chair team. after this. <laughs> Louis the Fourteenth. <laughs> good girl. Hey. Somebody famous in French history. Marie Antoinette. Well, excellent. Let them eat cake, she said. Yeah, I think. They, I think they had hostess <laughs> Twinkies. Marie Antoinette. Oh, God. There's $90 there now, my little oh, darling. Oh. Here's your chance. All right. Huh? Queen Anne. Uh, right. Right? Married to King Richard. <laughs> We're looking for Queen Anne. Uh. Sacro Blue. Sacro Blue. <laughs> She's not there. That's your second strike, King. King Louis, uh, 14th and the 17th. Uh... You want to try King Louis Part Two? I wouldn't try that. <laughs> I wouldn't try that. <laughs> like Godfather Part One, they never worked those sequels. Someone famous in French history. Three seconds. Uh... Hey, your strategy can pay off. You can do it. Lafayette. 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 What do you say? Lafayette. Lafayette. The other one you said was Toulouse Lautrec. Toulouse Lautrec. Yeah. 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 Beer. It was excellent. Yeah, was good. He just used Lafayette. to do skirting. He one never years. Anyway, you're looking for Lafayette. Lafayette. Lafayette is there. You get the ninety dollars. If it's not there, we're going to give it to the Lewis family. Lafayette. Number four, please. Ah, Joan of Arc, who once said medium rare. We'll be back right after this. Hi, the York's $90. Nothing here for the Lewis, but Ken, come on. Let's do it. Oh, good. Nice to see good sportsmanship there. We surveyed 100 people. Top seven answers are on the board to this question. Name a sport that has an official timekeeper. Jerry. Hockey. Hockey, is it there, please? Hockey. It's there, but there are four answers even more popular. Jerry, Jerry, come back. You always like, yeah. Poor devil. We want a sport that has an official timekeeper. Football. May we see football, please? You control it. What are you going to do? Play or pass? They're going to play, Richard. All right, this time they're going to play here. Bill Penny, a sport that has an official timekeeper. I, oh, I'm sure. Basketball. You're sure about that? Sure, they have an official yeah, timekeeper. Absolutely. Time basketball. <laughs> the number one answer, darling. 37 people said it. There's $71 in the bank. Holy. Soccer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Little soccer joke. May we see soccer? Uh, oh, that does have a timekeeper, because I'm English, and that's what we play there. But it just didn't make our top seven answers. That's your first strike. Babe. I'm so full of answers. I'm happy she's only one. Um, swimming. 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 Yeah. The moment I saw her, I said, boy, she looks as though she's had a lot of answers. And you are. <laughs> You're really full of them, aren't you? Oh, if I could just tell them. Oh, I know, I won't. Know. I won't. We are looking for swimming, please. You got it. Four people said it, $75, three answers left. Maxine, a sport that has an official timekeeper. How about volleyball? Volleyball? I bet it's there. You think it's there? I think so. Volleyball! 
Not there. That's your second strike. This is like a replay of that first question. Ken. Track. Track. Okay. 100 people surveyed. Did any say track? <laughs> Excellent. Two strikes on you. Only two answers left. Penny? Well, I have one. Horse racing. Horse, Horse racing. racing? Yeah. They always give the what? speed of it. Sure. Let's Time? take a look. We'll take okay. a look, all take right? Take a look. Keep our fingers okay, close. Richard. Horse racing! Yeah. This is beautiful. Polly, don't pull up your pants. <laughs> Step in here. There are two strikes on you, but only one answer left. You make a clean sweep here, you'll be in this game. How much money? $87 there. A sport that has an official timekeeper. Three seconds. Baseball. Baseball. All right, let's take a look. Baseball! Uh, what do you say? Boxing, 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 boxing. We all agree on boxing. You do, huh? Yeah. I'm just joshing. <laughs> so am I. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay, boxing's there. You take $87 and a commanding lead. If it's not there, the Lewis family are on the board. Boxing! You got it! Gotta get on the board, okay? Will they do it? We'll know right after this. Well, our champs of the Yorks are doing well. $177. Nothing too much here, but come on, little penny. Come on, Bob. Now, you can get in the game here because the money builds up very quickly. The dollar values are doubled. You know, if you win it, Bob, you'll be the champs once more and you'll go for the fast money. We surveyed 100 people. The top four answers are on the board to this question. Name something made of leather that a cowboy uses. Penny. I, um, I, oh. Oh. I, 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 Don't say it because you might use it. Bob. A saddle. A saddle. Is it there? Show us a saddle. Oh. All right. well, Penny, Penny. Who go? Let's see what they're going to do. Play it. We play it. Play it. We're going to play, play, play it. Right, go on back there. And I'll find, I think I know what you meant, but I don't want to help anybody here. A little bit. <laughs> I'll try that again. Okay. I can't remember the question. Well, I'll read it to you. Okay. Name something made of leather that a cowboy uses. A belt. A belt. I had a feeling that that's what... <laughs> Did I get it here? Annie was trying to date, eh? Either that or she was dating Jack LaLanne. I know, I need that. We're looking for a cowboy belt! Uh, oh. Boy, so that worked oh. out well because it wouldn't have been there. That's your first strike. John? Let's try a pair of boots. Cowboy Drop. boots. Try a pair of boots. Try a pair of boots. Great. Show us! hundred and fifty two dollars there two answers left one strike on you bob something made of leather that a cowboy uses shaps aha those are those uh -huh. things that yeah, right hang down the leg i'm sorry about that <laughs> richard don't get graphic please I didn't mean, your line. wait the old uh one order of shaps please <laughs> well done one answer left. One strike on you. Something made of leather that a cowboy uses. The reins. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, he got to control the horse. Of course. Yeah. And you all that. Do you have coming out about this? <laughs> yes. In about three months. Okay. You can buy it at your bookstore. We're going to take a look now for... <laughs> Come on, reins. The reins. Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> Two strikes. One answer left. Clean sweep, become the champs once again, or they'll get a chance to get in this game. Something made of leather that a cowboy uses. Bob. Three seconds. A leather whip. A leather whip. Show us whip! Uh, you can get in the game now. Come on, tell your mama all your ideas. Need an answer, Don. A holster. A holster. Okay. Holster's there, you're in the game. If not, you're the champs. One cowboy holster! <laughs> we'll be back right after this. Yeah. This is excellent. $180 for the lowest, $177. Betty? Dollar values are doubled. This will decide the winning family now. 100 people surveyed. Top three answers on the board to this question.
orange. An orange show me. Orange. Wow. What are you going to do? We've got to play it. We've got to play it. We've got to play it. got to play it. All right, we're going to play, little Don. John, a round fruit. Three seconds. Grapefruit. Grapefruit, is it there? Grapefruit. <laughs> One more answer, Bob. You remain the chance. A round fruit. Three seconds. Mm. Lemon. That's the first strike. Jerry, round fruit. Lime. Lime. Is it there? Lime. <laughs> One more, they'll get a chance to dethrone you. Bob, a round fruit. Apple. Apple. Right. Apple's there. You're the champ. Show it, Apple. <laughs> okay. You got it in the game, right? $180 there and nice prizes. I hope you had a... Okay, ready? Ready. The other Bob's off stage. Has earphones on. Play fast money. I ask you five questions. Give me five answers in 15 seconds. Try and think of the most popular answer. You and the other Bob get 200 points. You've got $5,000. 15 seconds, please. Name an animal with three letters in its name. Frog. Something found in the refrigerator. Milk. A brand of gasoline. Regular. Something that comes with a summer storm. Snow. A sport with an all-star game. Uh. Turn around. You may never be up here again. Let's take a look. Well, I'll do it. Name an animal with three letters in its name. You said <laughs> frog. Our survey said zero. Two people would have to say that. Something found in a refrigerator. You said milk. Yeah, milk. Our survey said 28. <laughs> a brand of gasoline we wanted. You said regular. That's a good brand. Our survey said the brand I use. Something that comes with a summer storm. You gave me the answer. <laughs> Snow. Our survey said the sport with an all-star game. Well, you didn't get to it, so you got 28. Clear the board, please. Go on back there. Uh, here's Bob. I got good news and bad news. <clears throat> Give me the bad news first. The bad news is you need 172 points to win the money. Oh. <laughs> the good news is you're the man to do it. I'm going to ask you the same questions I asked the other Bob. You cannot and you do not want to duplicate his answers. <laughs> if you do, you hear this. What noise do we hear? Thank you. I will then say try again. You'll give me another answer, all right? Remind everyone to Bob's shame, the answers he gave us, and give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name an animal with three letters in its name. Alligator. Something found in a refrigerator. Milk. Try again. Uh, ice. A brand of gasoline. Ethyl. Something that comes with a summer storm. Uh, rain. A sport with an all-star game. Football. Football, you've got to give him that. I can't, I can't stand any, that. Any man that says alligator, you've got to give him. Name an animal with three letters in its name. You said alligator. Our survey said... You don't use, uh, you don't use narcotics, do you, Bob? No, but I I mean, I thought, I thought frog was bad. <laughs> I thought frog was a disastrous answer until you came up with alligator. It was a real tough one, you know. Dog was the number one answer. Dog. I'm sure it was. Yeah. Well, three letters in its name, dog. Oh, D-O-G. the yeah. same letters you said. No, I said no, with three letters, three letters, right. And we wanted something found in a refrigerator. You both had this nailed down very well. Unfortunately, you repeat his answer, which was milk. But you said ice. 
That's the place to find it. Our survey said 17. Milk was the number one answer. It was the only good thing that Bob did. A brand of gasoline, we asked. You said ethyl. A brand. Right. A brand. Which I think you've been drinking. Uh, our survey said Zippo. The number one answer was shell. Shell. Something that comes with a summer storm. At least you were re See his answer? Snow. You At least you said, I believe, rain. Is that correct? Well, that's good. Our Is survey it? said nine. Nine. Oh. And then, uh, sport, with an all-star game, you said football. It was about two minutes late, but I insisted you get it. Our survey said... 29. Something, by the way, that comes with the summer storm was lightning, and baseball was the number one answer to our last question. Now, you have amassed, to my amazement, 83 points. That is amazing, Richard. You get $5 for every point, a total of... $415. Okay? Sure. Richard. Please watch us tomorrow and see if he has the nerve to show up again, will you? We love you. We'll see you here on The Family Feud. Some departing visits and visits from Kitty Shoes, the great American shoe store, a beautiful collection of fashion footwear. Kitty Shoes are with you every step of the way. And rose milk for hands without that greasy feeling with rose milk, you can really feel the difference. And Haynes Fashion Underwear gives you the fit, the fabrics, the colors, and the styles of today, plus Haynes Super Comfort. And home improvements are easy with Red Devil Latex Cult and other fine Red Devil Fix-Up Clean-Up products. Big Reds, a handyman to have around the house. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. I'm Mark Goodson, Bill Todman Production.